Harlem 125, also known as Jamil Adams, works by day as Dean of Students at Brandeis University. He is also very active in his work as poet and activist. He remains well known in the New York City area in slam poetry circles. Harlem 125 has become a part of the Boston area poetry scene and he has joined a team of poets who won numerous competitions regionally and nationally. He is especially known for his work leading workshops dealing with issues of diversity. Several times in the last few years, he has been called to local high schools, colleges, and communities to help bring a calm and constructive unity after racial incidents have happened. And known for his work, Harlem 125 is often asked to be a panelist or give presentations on a broad range of topics regarding diversity and pluralism. And he is here today to share his art of poetry and some of his thoughts and insight related to that art. So please put your hands together for Harlem 125. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is fun. This is fantastic. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Turn to your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor. Some of you still looking at me. Turn to your neighbor. Say neighbor. Good morning. Say neighbor. You are beautiful. And your response should be, why well, thank you, not that bad yourself. Now turn back to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, we're going to be all right. Say, neighbor, you know what? We are going to be all right. Now, you know, sometimes when folks say we, bring it back here, sometimes when folks say we, they really mean I. But when I say we, I don't mean without you. I mean you with me. We, not the we, you, but me and you, like we bad, meaning we good. I mean we, like hearts and life like open mics and protesting for rights. We, like the world's shortest poem written by Muhammad Ali. Me, we. Then someone yelled, go on with your bad self. And not gone, but gone. Gone like we left to get to a better place. Gone because you are beautiful. Gone because you are necessary. Gone because you have to succeed. Gone because we need you to go further in order for we to go further. Now gone. And while you're going, don't just be. I want you to be present. Be beyond measure. Be cataclysmically unapologetic for being. Be we. Be gone. And now I want you to be all right. Not all right like things are okay, but all right like fire. Not all right like semi-sunshiny days, but all right like an Amora Borealis kaleidoscope of lights. Be all right like you're not killing us anymore. Be all right like freedom. Be all right like the world loves cinnamon women. Be all right like the world loves we. Be all right like Kendrick, be all right tonight, all together and forever. We are going to be what, y'all? Right. We are going to be all right. Give the person next to you a high five. Give them a high five. Yes. All that is going on, you have the perfect seat. With all that is going on in the world, we have the responsibility and the ability to have a positive evolution take place. This is an example of that. It's Saturday morning, and we're coming together to break bread, share wisdom, create art, and commune with each other. And with that, I share this. It's called a piece of social justice. Acts of terror, war, poverty, race, gay rights, free speech, Orlando, Louisiana, the Ivory Coast, Spain, Charlottesville, network news, guns, sexual violence, health care, the need to even say Black Lives Matter, politics, bullying, YouTube challenges, fame, Facebook, Google Face, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Snapchat, Vine, the abuse, the stressed pain. When will it end? I say it will end when women make the same dollar that a man got. 
Y'all can clap for that. <laughs> when sexuality, when sexuality doesn't dictate your reality, and genders aren't necessary to label all bathrooms, when social networks don't measure social net worth, when urban youth doesn't mean just black and Latin X, when apple pie means America is multicultural, when women, wait a minute, let's talk about women for more than a minute. Let's talk about power. Let's talk about power in women. Let's talk about powerful women now. How about now? We talk about women and religion, about women of color, about professional soccer and women, about professional athletes and women, about one title less than 10. Let's talk about women to children, children to birth certificate, certificate to prove my life is documented, about love for the undocumented, about how majority of our lives in this country and our families began here undocumented. Let's talk about how to ensure children can grow up to become wonderful women, men, they, them, he, she, z. How about next in our agenda? It's how to rethink gender. But until then, never forget those who are transgender. Democrats should converse with the conservative. Can you see your brethren in the Republican? Let's all be human again. There's nothing violence solves that communication won't solve better. There is nothing violence solves that communication won't solve better. Now, back to the interrupted stanzas of this poem. When women don't have to shave their legs or underarms or wear a bra or makeup unless they want to. When being masculine doesn't compromise being feminine. When they ask, can we fly? And we point down to the sky. We are skywalkers, call us young Jedis. When being black, isn't unusual, when being Latina isn't hypersexual, when being indigenous doesn't mean you drink and gamble, when being Asian doesn't mean you're mathematical, when being white isn't the only normal, when a woman's body isn't her only monopoly and the phonetics of my name doesn't cost me an interview, when a God we trust doesn't appear on the root of all that is evil, when education and college is free, when I love you means it's unconditional, when you can't tell I'm new because I'm of color, see my skin, is not my sin. My skin is not my sin. It's just the dressing of the Lord's blessing. But until then, we got to keep it caging. So we call out any of those educators attempting to sleep with their students, the doubtful, the confused, that issue, that professor, the academy, any corrupt police, culture, the unsung, the unpopular, the weak, the meek, the forgotten, the good, the hood, the truth, the difference you all will make, the hero, the shero, the zero, the believers, the youth, hope, heart, passion, the dream, your ability, your spirit, I can, I will, we can, we will, humility, forgiveness, handshakes, hugs, those not present, your promise, the lesson, the challenge, the victory, the future, you. There's absolutely no question why you are here, nor why you were born, but understand the rest of the world waits with great anxiety for the delivery of your social justice and brilliance onto us. So I ask you, you mighty eagles, to simply untuck your wings and let us all fly. <laughs> The word disability disses my able. Able like not disabled, but super able me. Me like you stereotype me. Me not like how you let hate let you discriminate. Discriminate based on how I ate eight pills today. Today, like tomorrow, they sleep on me. Me like autism. Autism like light. Like light reflecting off me. Like I'm a shining light. Like light me up. No crash test, dummy. I smash tests lovely. Ask me if I can fly. And I, just like the last poem, will point down to the sky. Imagine how my unseen illness makes Wall Street gentrified. Gentrified like I... Let my brain try. It tried. Tried to shatter your simple expectations of me. Like expected me to not be. Be special. Like Olympics. Olympic like champion. Champion like minority. Minoritized. Sexuality. 
sexualized and GLBTQ, Q like quiet, riot, riot, not like comedy, comedy like Shakespearean tragedy, D like ADHD, HD like high definition, we and we like, and we are not the R word. That word is not our word. <coughs> we are everyone for a spectrum of love for the hue in you. All right. Let me get you some water. You good? We are community. We're going to take care of you. On TV. We're going to take care of you. It's going to be all right. The folks will see us showing love. You okay? You got something? You good? So let's pause for a moment. Those are a couple of poems that all have varying meanings and purpose in my life, and I share them, hopefully that they have some impact with you all as well. The We Gonna Be All Right poem was created to express my feeling that you know what, despite and in spite of what there is, we will be all right. We will be okay, we will evolve, we will do better. We will move with love, inclusion, and trust. In fact, there's a model I created, and it's, there, and it's that. It's the lit model, where the L again is love, the I is inclusion, and the T is trust. Let me hear you say, we are lit. Yes. Again, let me hear you say, love. love. Now, love is where we should start when we're dealing with each other as human beings. That's where we should always start from. If we start there, there's a greater possibility that when we see each other, we'll see ourselves in each other. That's what we want to do. Be able to look at each other and be like, I see a part of me that is connected with you. Let me say inclusion. Inclusion, inclusion should be the glue. The scene that keeps us together. If you've ever been left out of something you wanted to be a part of, then you recognize how ugly that feels. Let us not leave anyone out. Friends and family. And I say friends and family because I think sometimes when folks say ladies and gentlemen, unintentionally most times, I think we leave people out. And I don't want to leave people out. I don't think this family here wants to leave people out. Say we don't want to leave people out. We don't want to leave people out. That's right. So let's not do that. And then trust. I mean you say trust. Trust. Trust is the byproduct when love and inclusion are present. Because when you have that trust, you feel like your welfare is being taken care of. You feel that you're part of something larger than yourself. In fact, you may make sacrifices because you have trust in the community and the family that surrounds you. And to that, you become lit. When you have the love, inclusion, and trust. And when you are lit, you're providing light. And you provide light in the darkest of places. And this is what we do. We're providing light in the darkest of places. So, one last time, and you say, we are lit. Yeah. All right. So, I want to do something a little, probably unorthodox for this setting. But we'll try it out. And if it doesn't work, they get edited it out. <laughs> It'll be okay. If you have, I don't even know where Cheryl is. Okay, because I, I need to know where my hand signal is going to come from. All right. <coughs> Everybody say, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Because you make this beautiful. <coughs> if you have a cell phone, take your cell phone out. If you have one. If you have a cell phone, take your cell phone out. Now, if you would, everyone, please rise. If you would, if you're able to, please rise one time. I know you thought you are just going to sit here and listen to poetry. <laughs> this is all poetic in motion. Poetry in motion. So if you would, because... You're going to need some light. If you would, come forward. Come, come into the light, if you would. Come into the light. Everyone, come into the light, if you would. Trust me, it'll be OK. There's a reason why I'm bringing you into the light. Because we are lit. We're providing light. <laughs> we trust. Thank you. Trust. So on the count of three, I would like for everyone to say consent. One, two, three. Consent. Now, with the consent of the people that are around you, as you have your cell phones out. And if you don't have a cell phone, it's okay, look for the folks who do have one. But what I would like for you to do is for the next 30 seconds, 
take a selfie with someone that you don't know. Go for it. <laughs> take a selfie with someone that you don't know with their consent, though. With their consent. Take a selfie with someone. Can we take a selfie? Let's go for it. Thank you. Thank you. So now, this is what I would like for you to do. What's your name? No, yes, sir. You have a cell phone? Can we use your cell phone to take the room with you? Friends and family, if you would, we're going to focus on Noah's phone. Because Noah is going to take the room, sel the room selfie. So everyone, so you need to probably be on this side, right here. Turn around. We got to join in truth and truth, right? We got to just okay. look right here. Y'all got to come over this side. If you want to be in the room selfie. <laughs> Sir, you got to get in the poetry selfie. Poetry This is poetry in motion. Nice long one. That's all short. All right. I think everyone is in there. There we see. There you go. We got Cheryl in there. Move on. We got to touch it just a little bit more. There you go. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, Wait a minute. Nice. Hit it again one more time. Boom, there we go. We are good. Tell people thank you. Say thank you. Now, what I would like for you to do before you put your phones away, send that photo to the following phone number. It's my phone number. I'm going to send those selfies to Cheryl. And Cheryl may put them on HCAM TV or something like that to immortalize this moment. All these beautiful people and energies collected. So the phone number is. I'll say the phone number at least five times. 781 726 0019. 781 726 0019. 781 726 0019. Again, my name is Harlem125. My mama named me Jamil Adams. Here's my phone number. 781-726-0019. This phone should be like vibrating from getting pictures of beautiful people. <laughs> it has not happened yet. 781-726. Ah, there they go. 0019. They're coming. They're still coming. Okay, this is awesome. 781-726-0019. You got it? 781 Oh, okay. So then keep it, and then when you leave, the, that's probably what I'm going to get a whole bunch of. Somebody has good service down here. I get a whole bunch as soon as I step out the building. You're going to get two for me. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is awesome. 781-726-0019. Let me say my voice. My voice. My voice is important. My voice is important. One of the most dangerous sounds on earth is every time you hear it, there is secrecy, danger, or the silencing of someone. Don't tell. Shh. Be quiet. The giver of the sound oftentimes is hiding something. Shh. This won't hurt. Shh. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shh. If you make a sound, I can't ever recall hearing it and feeling relieved. Like I've never heard, shh, you may wear your hair here, <laughs> however you wish. Shh, women, you will begin to get paid equally starting now. Shh. 
<laughs> Breathe, boy. That gun ain't pointed at you. It's pointed at that slavery behind you. That's the savior. They impeaching the president. Whichever one you want it to be. Those pipelines won't go there. Those colored graves are sacred. There is no box to check. We're all killed. Is gender assignment always necessary? It could be so maddening. I remember, put your hands up, turn around, place them on the hood of the car. I remember hearing the teacher say, Stop acting like that and feel it. Like she was saying, stop acting so black. Remember the first time you heard, shh? Remember the first time you said, shh? You ever shush the dead body? You ever knew too much they ask you to, shh? Knowledge, knowledge could be so loud. They shoot in the library. You ever, and then came back to life? You ever shush the soul? You ever been silenced? Interrupted? Made quiet? Shh. Soundless? Shh. Made not important? Made what you say not to matter? Shh. Sonically hung? The hate is so loud. We shh all of this love. Shh all of this life. Shh the Lord becomes still. give you to remember your voice and its importance and never ever be silenced again <laughs> our voices have the capacity to affect the trajectory of life as we live it. Our use of vocabulary has destroyed lives, but more empowering has saved lives, have made lives better. Words and our ability to communicate are so incredible especially when we use them with each other for good. Being digital has caused a great surge of us being impersonal. The more impersonal we are, the more we dehumanize our interaction. And any biases we have are further dehumanizing to each other. But having interaction with each other and conversation is beautiful, even when we disagree. But it's possible. And we need more of that. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Imagine going to church and getting shot. Imagine reaching for your wallet and getting shot. Imagine holding your cell phone and getting shot. Imagine calling for help and getting shot. Imagine having a broken tail light and getting shot. Imagine your child in the back seat when you get shot. Imagine being broadcast on Facebook Live and bleeding out when you get shot. Imagine fitting a description and getting shot. Imagine being handcuffed on the ground of a train stop and getting shot. Imagine waiting for a friend in a coffee shop and called cops put you out. Imagine being asked for trust you ain't got. Imagine college, graduating, celebrating, and getting shoved off the stage with that degree you just got. Imagine getting choked out for selling cigarettes until your nose loses snot. Imagine your snot 
box rocked like you've been shot for being alive on a day that's hot. Imagine praying every day to not get shot. Imagine blue uniforms you see give you flashbacks of being shot. You tired of this? Imagine being tired of being shot at. Imagine they tell your family you got shot because they forgot, forgot to check the plot. Forgot to apologize for adding you to the family plot. Forgot to spot a non-lethal location to place the shot. Shots fired. Are you not in the team? Imagine getting fired as a slave and getting shot. Imagine your love being shot. Imagine running for your freedom and being shot. Imagine being desensitized to being shot. Imagine expecting to get shot. Imagine not being afraid to get shot. Imagine being nonviolent, yet ready for a shot. Imagine taking a shot at life and being shot. Imagine taking a shot at shooting back and getting shot. And then your family members get shot. Do they have guns in heaven? Can you get shot in heaven? Where can I go and not get shot? Can you imagine a place where you are not getting shot? I cannot. That is just a very small glimpse into some of the thoughts that travel through my mind on a regular basis as I interact with other people. Mm -hmm.